everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ekta here and in today's lipstick and chit chat video we are going to talk about, review and swash the all new newly launched Nika paint stick. Yes, we are gonna review not just one, two or three but the entire 12 shades from this range. So what shall we say? Are we ready? lipsticks that Nika has recently launched and they claim this to be super intense lipsticks so far. Are they really super intense, super pigmented? Let's check them out one by one. The lipstick comes inside this colorful pink colored carton box. It has the name of the shade written over here along with the shade code. For example, they have shades from 1 to 12 so you know you will have all the shade numbers written over here. It, the box also tells you about the ingredients that is inside your lipstick which is again a very good concept because a lot of products in India they don't have the ingredients listed outside. This is how the paint sticks looks like. This comes in a plastic kind of a tube with the color very clearly demonstrated. It's a very very good concept. You don't have to look here and there for the color. You can easily figure out what color lipstick that you need to use and you can find it easily from your makeup stash. This is how the lipstick bullet is. It comes in a very flat kind of a bullet. I can understand this is a little difficult for some people to apply. They have to use a lipstick brush which is a good idea. This packaging reminds me of the MAC Lip Intensity that was launched somewhere last year in August or September 2016. The lipstick uh, brand has almost similar packaging. They also you know boasted of the same formula. If I'm not mistaken satin finish and matte finish they have almost the same formula. Correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah coming back to the packaging it does remind me a hell lot of you know a MAC lip intensity. Even MAC lip intensity was packed in a similar mode. The only difference is that the with Nika paint sticks the color reflection is on the outer cover but wherein with MAC lip intensity even this portion was in the shade color. Another striking factor could be the price if I'm not mistaken lip intensity cost somewhere around 20 to 21 dollars where in Nika lipsticks they cost just rupees 425 or something. So ain't that super affordable girls? Nevertheless MAC lip intensity was launched in 24 different shades wherein Nika paint sticks was launched in 12 different shades. So let's see all those shades one by one. for all the 12 different shades. I hope you have liked them. Time for a particular verdict. Well, I totally love the entire range. I cannot tell you exactly which one is my favorite. I have so many favorites. I have more than one favorite in this range. And I kind of totally love the entire formula, the rich formula and the satin finish that lives on my lips. The beauty is that, like I said, you don't have to apply double coats. Only single coat is quite good except for the new 
shades and I totally love the range over here but I would have totally loved if they have something like blue because yeah, I'm not somebody who's into darker shades, but of late I have begun to like the darker shades, especially with this range. I've fallen in love with some of the darker shades. When I started with a nude spot and I ended it with a grunge brown. I am not a very dark shade person, but somehow I'm loving all the dark shades in this range, especially this one. And coming back to the uh, lip intensity that MAC has launched, they have a very wonderful, very path-breaking kind of shade called Blue Beats or Beat Blue. Uh, something like that is quite a miss, a grey kind of a shade is quite a miss in this range, but overall this range looks very promising. The beauty of this range is that you don't have to apply multiple coats of lipstick to get the colour. One or two coats are quite good enough. I love the super rich pigmentation, the formula is indeed quite intense. And I can't tell, you know, what a hurdle it was for me to remove some of the lips, uh, you know, lipstick shades after swatching them, even though I was using one of the best makeup remover. But those shades, uh, you know, especially the dark shades, they do leave some residue behind. Another beautiful thing is that, that the lipstick spreads quite evenly over your lips. It does not settle in your creases, giving you some kind of fine line kind of appearance. Of course, if you have a very dry or chapped lip kind of condition, I would suggest to you to prep your lip. The pigmentation is very good. Talking about the staying power, well, the lipstick easily stays for three to four hours. Depends on, you know, how much are you eating, talking and like. So let's do a quick kiss test and see if the lipstick is transfer free or kiss proof or not. Okay, so as you can see, the lipstick does come off. It is not kiss proof. It does get transferred. So be very careful while you are eating, drinking and all. So if you are a matte person like me and if you are looking to buy some good shades for your lips for this summer, go ahead and invest in Nika paint sticks. It's totally worth the cost. I'm sure you are going to like it. I absolutely loved it. So well, that's all for this lipstick and chit chat video today. I hope you like this video. Do give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I so much look forward to hear from you. Regarding the detailed swatches etc. I'm gonna put all of them on my blog www.hotecotil.com So stay tuned, take care, stay hot, stay, stay beautiful, feel good, live good and Ciao!